you want to be an actor. Are you crazy? Ask yourself, do you like to eat? Let's just say you decided to become an actor. You have to ask yourself, are you any good? You, you probably can be an okay actor if you're really good looking. But ugly, um, you're going to need to be a great actor. So you got to find out somehow, are you a good actor? I grew up in the 70s watching the Carol Burnett show. I got my education from Tim Conway. I used to perform all these Carol Burnett sketches. We used to recreate them in front of my, my parents. Now that's not very scientific. You know your friends will tell you whether you're, you're sick or you suck. Maybe you got to take some acting classes. Real actors that are actually working. Uh, or casting directors, move on, you're, you're good, you're great. And then at some point, you're going to want to get an agent. Then you're going to need to spend at least $300 to $600 on professional 8x10. If you're a photographer yourself and you kick ass, then fine, that will do. That's your, your first impression, is your 8x10s. And you, and you need to have an 8x10 for every audition or callback. Good luck with the eating and the roof over your head. What is that? One inch? If I go here? No, nothing. Nothing. Well, look at this. We're speed demons. What are we doing anyway? 30 clicks? Woo! Good thing I got all this gear on. If you find yourself waiting tables or stocking shelves, well, then you're well on your way to becoming a professional actor. See, I started uh, when I was a teenager, so I had lots of teachers and friends say, oh, you're funny, you're such a talented guy, so I kind of knew. See, I got an agent, a professional agent, when I was 16, and my first uh, TV movie, that, or project, that I ever did was a TV movie called Stephen King's It. Awesome! So, yes, it is on DVD. I would say, was I great at that time? No, I wasn't great. I, I was mostly cute, you know? You got a great jaw and great hair. White teeth? More than half the battle! But then came the 20s! Oh my gosh! My hair started retreating. I still had a great job, but I had two of them now. Uh, which doesn't help, unless that's your thing. I guess my advice to you would just stay out of shape. I was already established as this cute young guy. Well, that sounds like a Chinese name. Guy is this cute young guy. You know, I like stopping for pedestrians. I'm kind of crazy that way. Not so cute anymore. So I had to become a better actor. I got into voice acting because I noticed my brother was making tons of money and having a great time doing cartoons. Radio commercials, video games, video games are fun. Because you, you need to have as many opportunities, as many avenues just to pay the bills. There's not, not a lot of money in theater, but if you can but you can get paid. That's the best. Yeah baby! We'll head over there. That's where the Vespa shop is. Urban Wasp. That's where my mechanic buddy hangs out. I'm sure he loves it when I stop by and say, Hi, I know you. You're the guy that adjusted my carburetor. <laughs> Kawasaki 350 two-stroke. Three-cylinder. That's nuts. Beautiful bike. Let's live to ride another day, my friend.